Hey guys, so we have my husband here today, and of my 90-some designer handbags, almost 90, he is going to rank his top three and his lowest three, and tell us why, and I really wanna know, of these six, which the bottom three are and why. Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome in. If you're new to my channel, my name's Caleb and I post luxury and lifestyle related content every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So if that's something you're into, which between us, I'm assuming it is, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below, give this video a thumbs up, say hi down in the comments, find me over on Instagram at calebdesnell.designer. And who's this guy? I don't know. This is my husband, Zane. I'm a stranger. You're a stranger. A stranger danger. <laughs> stranger danger. So if you haven't caught any of our lives yet, this is the guy that edits the videos, does the pop-up comments, and is a pest. I'm amazing. Thank you very much. <laughs> Tell us what we're doing here today. What You picked six bags out of my collection and I want to know what this is for. Well, you've been pestering me to be on a video lately, so we came up with the concept of I picked the top three and the bottom three bags in your collection that I think of, obviously. Yeah. Duh. Duh. <laughs> now, listen, I paid way too much for this. We'll see where to she be... lands. Wow. You can't say what you want. This is wow. my video, basically. <laughs> I'm driving. We've been hijacked. Buckle well, up. Well, I, I guess it's I'll see you guys later. It's going to be a bumpy ride. <laughs> now, seriously though, so when it comes to my collection, if you're new around here, I have almost 90 designer bags. And it could be anything from like Coach all the way to Hermes. So today we have a little Hermes, LV, Fendi, YSL, Balenciaga, Coach. And I'm Coach. excited to see where things land. How are you going to do this? What's your ranking system? Well, you were telling me earlier that you would like me to go. I wasn't telling you anything. This is a surprise. <laughs> surprise? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I want you to do your top bag and then your bottom bag and then your top bag and then your bottom bag. I'm like, okay, that's fine. I can do that. Let's do it. Let's just get into it already. Okay, well, pick a bag already. Pick a bag already, he says. Goodness gracious. So I have to start at the top, one of the top bags, but not necessarily the top. I'm not necessarily ranking this as the top bag. Or the the bottom bag. But we'll start with dot com. <gasps> the Fendi. The Fendi. Now is this a favorite or a least favorite? Oh, I didn't say did I? You didn't. But I did say I would start at the top. So this is technically in the top category. Wow. Yeah. Mouthy. Listen. Everyone have your listening ears on? I sure hope so. <laughs> so why do I like the dot com? Well, that's it. I like it. He likes it. That's it. <laughs> no. Video I like the exotic uh, water snake trim. I'm not allowed to touch. Okay, before we started filming, he literally went against the scales. There was a fuzzy. There was. There was a white fuzzy on it. We, we know better. So we have the water snake details. I like the color of this bluish gray leather. Yes. Is this calfskin? I believe so. It feels like calfskin. Yeah. I'm learning. He's learning. Um, and I like the overall design of it. It's more modern. I like the size of it. Yes, the size is perfect. I hate his larger bags. My large peekaboos specifically. Peekaboos, but they're too pretty to put on here. So I kind of do that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. It has that fun little takeout pocket that you like so much mm -hmm. that he doesn't really do a takeout. But you know, whatever. It's there if he needs it. It's there. I, a boy likes his options. And let's just be honest, it kind of has like a robotic face. Do you I see, see it? it? You got the mouth, the nose, the eyes. eyes. Yeah. Okay, that's cute. That's a vibe. So yeah, that would be one of my top bags. And I like that you picked this one because this, again, it's su hi, super comfortable to carry by hand. It does have the option for a strap, but if, if you missed it, go back to my Fendi playlist. I talked all about like the missing strap, the saga, the drama, trying to find a backup strap. Still haven't found one Still yet. Still haven't found it. But, and also, we love a foot moment. He's in defeat. I'm not into feet. I'm into bags with feet. I said what I said. Safe, Safe space. space. <laughs> All right. Now, what is a bottom bag? Like, what's, what's, what's something bottom? at the bottom of the list? Really? The Balenciaga Barb's Clutch. The Barb's Clutch? Why? Uh, I think it's underwhelming. I remember when he bought this in Barcelona, Spain. I remember, like, they came in a horrendous clown. The clown colorway. When you look at the leather, you know, this is lambskin, right? Yeah. Okay. On you, you know? On you. Mm. Oh, so fancy. Wee oui, oui. wee. Oui. It's crinkled, you know, giving that textured effect. And that's okay. And I know it's, you know, trying to give a nod to the moto style oh, of Balenciaga's I see past. That. Yeah. But I mean, let's just be honest, guys. This is boring. It's, he's barely carried it. I carried it a couple days, a few months ago. <laughs> so bad. Exactly. <laughs> 
something full price at boutique. I mean, you have a box and you do have a nice shiny gold holiday packaging. The holiday bag. packaging was fire. But it's just an underwhelming bag for his clutches and he doesn't carry clutches anymore, so. Just yeah, I don't really grab for my clutches anymore. He says grabbing for a clutch. I get what you're saying. It's underwhelming. It's, I went on a huge shopping spree in Spain, so we, we had just left Gucci. You should have got Loewe. Bought a book. Well, the Loewe boutique was closed. You should have found something at the outlet. They didn't have the puzzle bag I wanted. Oh. I know. <laughs> I probably paid like 700 euros for this. It's like 700 or 800 euros, yeah. It's like not a lot. Okay, so moving on to another top bag would be this little one. Ooh, I'll touch this one. It's Vachetta. It's Vachetta. Vachetta. You gotta say it correct. Oh my gosh. My Speedy 30 Multicolor from the Murakami collection. That's it. Okay. That's it. <laughs> Why is this one of your favorite bags? Oh, I've always liked the Multicolor. Yes. And I really do like the black canvas version. Mm -hmm. So I, it really is just because it's Multicolor. I like all the gaudy hardware on it. All the Y2K gives. Yeah. You know, it's a capacious bag, but she's stunning. <laughs> Ludicrously capacious. Mm -hmm. It actually doesn't hold that much. And these little corner rivets, like unless you've had one, I don't know if you'd understand, but it's, it's kind of tight on the interior, not gonna lie. I love this bag, it is heavy, so be prepared for an arm workout if you decide to carry one out one day, but. I mean, but look at that hardware. It is fabulous, and I, I got really lucky. I snagged a really good condition option from Fashion File before the prices went insane. Like this 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 condition now is like almost 2K, so. Yeah, he didn't pay that. Did not pay that, dodged a bullet, thank goodness. But I, I love this bag. I carry this one a lot more in the summertime because mm -hmm. of all the Bacchetta. All right, moving on. Let's go with the YSL Sade. So you've picked the YSL Sade. So you've picked the YSL Sade. So I'm guessing this Coach Shearling is going to be your top favorite. Okay. Oh, yeah. Go on. Absolutely. <laughs> Pop off, bestie. Pop off. Bet. Bet. <laughs> uh, why is this on my bottom for you? Well, it's pretty easy. You don't carry it. I know. That's it. That's the main reason. He spent $2,000? Oh, close, to, close to $2,000. It's a little under. In boutique, we drove to Chicago. This was before we moved to Chicagoland, and he doesn't carry it. it the leather is stunning, guys. Like it's so soft, mm -hmm. extremely buttery. Like it's incredible, but he doesn't carry it. So it's annoying me, and it takes up so much space in his closet. It doesn't take up that much. It sits behind stuff. I messed up with this one, you guys, 100%. So this is the YSL Sade clutch. It came out the summer before last. Have I had this two years? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I've had this about two years now, and when this came out, you have to think like back then it was like the, the Bottega Veneta pouch was like the biggest clutch thing of the mm -hmm. moment. So I was like, oh, this is gonna be the next one, and it didn't take off. Mm -hmm. And when you carry it, because the way it's constructed, it actually like buckles around the entire bottom in your mm -hmm. hand. So as you're carrying it, the warmth of your hand softens the leather and the interior, and it just kind of like puddles down, which isn't like really the vibe. Gloves. Just yeah, wear ice, like gloves. ice gloves. The interior leather line, though, absolutely stunning quality. It's lambskin. It's YSL. It's not poorly made whatsoever. No, it is a beautiful bag, you guys. He doesn't carry it, though. If you carry clutches, though, and you're thinking about it, you should do it. The leather's incredible. The leather's incredible. It's a little, it's ludicrously capacious. So instead of going to the next top one, we'll go to the next bottom. So we end on a high note. Okay, better be the coach bag. I mean, you guys, let's talk about this. Let's be serious. Look at this Kelly, and why would it be in the bottom? Let's be honest, okay? <laughs> let's be serious. Psych. Psych! Yes, I agree with you on this one. Okay, he was so frantic to find this, you guys. When we did find it at the Michigan outlet on our way home from Thanksgiving with my family, I was like, okay, yeah, get it. And I really didn't really... I touched it, but I didn't really touch it. I didn't really touch and feel it like I really should have because it feels like carpet. It, it does. It feels like carpet. So for those who don't know, it's supposed to be a shearling. So yes, it, it is, is made shearling. for factory. It is shearling, but it legitimately feels like cheap carpet. It's obviously not the highest quiet quality shearling, unfortunately. No. And it's in it. Look at this. Just look at this, guys. Look at that edging right there. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it. I and little no chunks idea. of shearling will fall out with like glue attached to it. And it's just, like, yeah. Here's a, He's carried it once. I, I carried it for maybe a couple of days and in a row. It, well, it was one stretch though. Yeah. That's it though. Oh, I just saw a fuzzy. Yeah, no, it, it sheds. It does have the crossbody strap, but it's a thin one. And it's a made for factory, so the leather's not. If you know, the MFF Coach leather is not serving right now. It's not. She's not giving the gifts. Not a vibe. I mean, it's cute. Just don't touch it. 
Like look, look with your it. eyes. Look with your no eyes. Touch touch. No touch with your eyes. No touchy touch. No touchy touch. Yeah, it's it's not like this isn't luxurious. It's not fabulous. It's it, eh. it's like what seventy bucks. It wasn't much. It wasn't much. Like Thankfully. we tracked it down. It was on like super sale. They were handing them out at the door, basically. I'll put the link to the Thanksgiving vlog right here. Be popping up any second. Any second. <laughs> any second. All right, let's talk about your favorite bag. My favorite bag, huh? I don't know if it's my favorite favorite, but it probably is just because he's lit. Can you move the move that dot com? I don't want her in my face anymore. Get her out of the way. She's. Let's foul. talk about the Kelly, because everyone has her name on their lips. Ooh. Okay. Okay, Miss Kelly. Oh, okay, Miss Kelly. Uh, why is this my favorite? He's literally wanted a Birkin slash Kelly for since I've known him. Mm -hmm. He's always actually been a Birkin girl, whereas I have always liked the Kelly more. I like the structured look of it more. Mm -hmm. I like the one top, one handle. I don't know. The Kelly has always been a vibe for me. I think it's more classic design, but it's mm -hmm. also c trendier and cooler because like you have the mini Kelly now. Like you don't have a mini Birkin. Do you? That goes crossbody? Oh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. There's the small Birkin, yes. Yeah, a cute little number. But no. Whereas a Kelly can go from day to night, honey. She's a day to night girl. Okay, She's, <laughs> she's in the office and then she's on the streets doing her thing. Okay. I don't know if my Kelly's ever on the streets. Thank you so much. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do for <laughs> these Kelly's guys. <laughs> Not wrong there. <laughs> no, but all jokes aside, it's a stunning bag. The yeah. leather is in. Incredible. Impeccable. I always thought like Hermes is just a little up there thinking their leather is so much superior. No, it really it is. is. This it is really is phenomenal. I've touched their box calf and I touch other people's box calf and I'm like, it's still Hermes. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who their sources are, but perfect. That pretty much sums it up for me. What do you want to talk about? Why you like your Kelly so much? <laughs> so yes, I love my Kelly. If you haven't watched my Kelly unboxing, go to my Hermes playlist. However, the Kelly kind of came as a curveball. So I was like on the Birkin track. We called them mm -hmm. like the, the Birkin fund is what we were saving up for. And this popped up. A couple of friends sent me the link. They're like, oh, what do you think of this? I'm just like, oh, it's a Kelly. I'm saving for a Birkin. Maybe the next time. I got to thinking about it more and more. Yeah. And I love my peekaboos. I love my my dot coms. Like single top handle bags is like my vibe. And like that's what this is. I, the more I was looking at the photos, like just the more I fell in love with it. I bought it at the Real Real before they closed down the boutique. And yes, I sent it out to Baba Baby. They they brought in two Birkins in the blue jean. They had this come in in the blue jean, so I could compare all three. Birkins were trash. The Birkins were trashed. But like stylistically, like this just felt more me. I like that the Kelly is a little bit thinner than the Birkin. The Birkin, that's a big bag. Like that is a commitment. You're taking out like a Hummer of a handbag. A Hummer, you, of, a handbag. A Hummer of a handbag. You heard it here first, guys. When you're carrying a big Birkin, this is more slim to the body. And I liked that it had that option to go on the shoulder for when you've got like groceries you need to carry in. And like, I can't do that with a bag. I can just throw it on my shoulder and go. Have you used it yet? The strap? No, but I like the option. Stop That's calling me out tonight. <laughs> anyway, the Kelly, yes, I agree. I, I waited a lifetime for it, and I can't wait to get another Kelly. It's in the near future, I think. All right, so top three, bottom three. It was a list. It was interesting. It was, it was interesting to hear your take, and I respect why you chose these as your three least favorite. Thank you. I do appreciate the respect, as he should. Don't get used to it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that is it for today. Give it up for Zane down in the comments. I think he did a great job for... I know I did. Um, we actually filmed a similar video way back in the day. Way, way back. I think I've come a long way. As have you. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah. I had no... Yeah, I did it myself. myself. I had no personality back then, so those are cringe AF. Yeah. Anyway, this was a ton of fun. Thank you for joining us today. And guys, until Wednesday, stay safe, have fun. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Everyone have your listening ears on? I sure hope so. <laughs>